This problem is an absolute train wreck. This is what I'm looking at. Distributed property number one. Distributed property number two. Those are separate. X is on the left. X is on the right. Those are separate. So when I see problems that look like they involve distributive property, look like they involve combining like terms, and look like they involve doing stuff from both sides, I always go in this order. Step number one, distributed property. Step number two, combine like terms on each side. And then step number three is get rid of whatever variable that you're dealing with. So I'll say get rid of vary. Then we'll take it from there. So step number one is going to be distributed property. I have two sets of distributive properties on the left. Negative five only deals with this parentheses here. So only use negative five for that parentheses. Negative five times one is negative five. Negative five times negative five X is negative five times negative five is positive. Five times five is 25. X comes along for the ride. You're done. Now, regular five, because that's a positive, is going to be multiplied to negative eight X. So five times negative eight X is negative 40 X. Regular five times negative two is negative 10. And now we're done with that distributive property problem. On the right side, if you want to combine like terms, you can, but I won't yet. So minus four X and minus eight X on the right side combined. Now is the time. So done. Now is the time where I want to combine like terms. All right, so on the left side, I see a negative five and a negative 10. Those are both regular numbers. Negative five and negative 10 add up to negative 15. They're both negatives, and when you subtract a negative from a negative, you still get a larger negative, and that's what we have here. We now have positive 25x minus 40x. 25 X's minus 40 X's is minus 15 X is. So that's me combining like terms on the left. Should I put a check mark here? No, because I can combine like terms on the right side. On the right side, what color didn't I use? Let's go with blue. I have a negative 4 X and a minus 8 X. Those guys combine like right away. Negative 12 X. Now, if you're thinking, all right, uh, now I have a two-stepper. You're thinking wrong. I still have an X on the left and an X on the right. Now, usually what I like to do is I like to get rid of the variable on the right. However, if I get rid of the variable on the right by adding 12X, even though it's not wrong, it gives me an extra step to do, and I'm lazy bones. So this is what I'm going to do. I notice that if I want to try to get 15, negative 15 alone over here and maybe get rid of you, I could just add 15x to both sides. And that's what I'm going to do. That allows you to cross out. And now instead of having two things on the left side, I have one thing on the left and one thing on the right. The negative 15 drops down. You're gone. Equals drops down. 15x's minus 12x's is 3x's. Now, in order to get X all by itself, three is being multiplied to X, divide both sides by three, inverse, divide both sides by three, and negative five is equal to X. Most teachers would be okay with this, but I'm the type of teacher where I just prefer, although I would never mark this wrong, I prefer that instead of saying negative five is X, you say X is negative five. It just sounds prettier and it's more helpful to when you get to this thing called inequalities, but that's all right, you're not there yet. Right now, either one of these will work, but this was a train wreck of a problem, very difficult. But again, if you can do distributed property, do that first. If you can combine like terms on each side, do that second, and then take the rest of the problem the way you normally would. Fun.